everybody. It's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope that you are having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a question from somebody. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video saying, ask me anything. And I had a lot of great questions. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to be answering those questions. And today I want to take this one. This question is from Jack Maine. And Jack Maine says, I was wondering what my value is in the eyes of spirit or God. Sometimes I feel so small when it comes to all this spiritual stuff, which I still don't understand. I hardly ever feel departed loved ones or anything supernatural. I love the message of spirituality far better than religion or atheism, but I just don't feel anything. Am I too separated? Am I too separated? Well, this question really tugged at my heartstrings because... Well, the first line, I was wondering what my value is in the eyes of spirit. And I feel like a lot of us don't have a sense of our value and what we're truly worth and how highly prized we are by the creator, by the higher self, within the architecture, the cosmological architecture of this universe. We don't feel significant or valuable And it's because we don't feel this about ourselves, this true love for ourselves, that we don't really have dynamic or evidential spiritual lives. And by this, I mean, we don't necessarily feel the supernatural things or feel ultra connected, or we don't see the serendipity or the patterns because we ourselves are cut off from the awareness of who we truly are. Your feeling separated, Jack, is not indicative of an actual separation. It's indicative of your perception about who you truly are. And it speaks to a greater misunderstanding of who and why you are and truly how wonderfully you've been made. But there's also a very cool humility about asking this kind of question because there's too many of us who think we know it all, who think we have all the answers, who think we're completely connected when we're not. We're operating from a place of ego and arrogance. There's a humility and a vulnerability about saying, what about me? Am I really loved and am I truly loved? And so to answer that question, I just want to be as honest and straightforward as possible, Jack. And there, we run the risk here of you not feeling this right now, but I'd like for you to just let your narratives, the things that you say to yourself about yourself, I'd like you to let the patterns kind of just fall away in this moment, if you would, please. So that the words that I say to you can actually get through and be received and hopefully land. Then I'm going to ask you a question. The truth of the reality is that you were fearfully and wonderfully made. And fearfully doesn't speak to fear. It speaks to how awesomely, how magnificently you were made. And there are many iterations of you, Jack, not just this one on this earth plane living this Jack main life. You are living in other realities simultaneously. And all of these yous are being governed at this time by what we could call a higher self or an oversoul, the main you, the real you, the raw you, pure, divine, and godlike. And that's not heretical. Jesus himself said, you are all gods. And this is what he's saying. You as you truly are, outside of this perception that you have of yourself, you as you truly are, Jack, are powerful and divine. And you were created intentionally. In perfection were you created. Proximate to the archangelic and the angelic. When the creator created you, the creator did so intentionally. And how glad the creator was at the creator's creation. That's who you are. But you're asking the question not from the position of the oversoul, are you? You're asking the question from the position of 3D Jack Maine feeling cut off, separated. Well, this is a function primarily of the realm and the reality into which you incarnated 3D reality. Built into this dimension are little landmines that affect the way we feel about ourselves, that affect the way we feel about other people. 
It affects the way we interact with this reality. It's very easy to get sucked into the predominant energy of this dimension, the construct, the infrastructure of this dimension. The predominant energy is love because that's the predominant energy of this universe. But in this dimension, the infrastructure of it, the predominant energy is of separateness. There's a you and there's a me. There's an us and there's a them. There is an illusion very persistent that we are not one when the reality is that we are one and that we all emanate from the same source and that we all have within us the same spiritual DNA. But see, here in this third dimensional reality, we are fixed to and operating in a system that programs and teaches us separation. And so you're finding yourself in a perspective of separation. That's not about who you are. That's about where you are, Jack. I'm going to say that again. Your perception of separation is not about who you are. It's about where you are. And so what this calls for is a shift out of the frequency of this incarnation, 3D reality, the infrastructure. And a reorientation into and from the divine self, the higher self the raw you, the pure you, that is unnameable, that exists outside of dimensions and octaves and universes, that was created before all of this was created, were you created. That's where we need to get you. That's where I need to get and stay as often as possible. We came into this reality knowing that we were going to be fixed to this illusion of separateness, and yet rising to the challenge because within us all is an unseverable cord back to who it is that we truly are, unbreakable. Never can they sever the cord of the spirit, and you have the spirit inside of you right now, just as I do. You are not this life. You are not this body. You are not your relationships. You are not your bank account. You are not 3D reality. You are not this earth plane. You are not constrained by this dimension. You are not constrained by time or space. You exist outside of it. And that's where we need to get you. Just, just entertaining the idea of it. But my question for you is... Do you feel it a little bit? Does that land with you a little bit? That it could be possible that you are greater than this reality. That it could be possible that you were created intentionally. That it could be possible that you chose to incarnate and that you have a purpose here, Jack. Just as I do and just as everybody watching this does. And it could be possible that you are magnificent and you are all gods. Is there a whisper of the possibility of that for you? I hope your answer is yes, because it's true. Can I open a book and point to a diagram and prove that it's true? No. But when truth is spoken into you, when truth is spoken to you, when truth is appearing around you, the spirit always bears witness to it. And so if, as I'm saying this to you, there's a witnessing response, maybe you get a chill, maybe you feel something in your heart, an opening, maybe there's a breath that enters in, a loosening, maybe there's an excitement that you feel, yes, I, I think it could be possible. That is the witnessing response. That is what we hook into. That is what we turn our interest toward. That is what we focus upon because that's the truth. The spirit never leads you astray, ever. Spirit never leads you astray, not ever. You are not separated, that's illusion. You are not less than, that's illusion. You are not stuck here, none of us are. You are not constrained and confined by the infrastructure of this reality, none of us are. You exist outside of it. You are divine. You were created by a creator of love, and so was I. And you are magnificent, fearfully, and wonderfully made. That's what's true about you. 
and I can say that to you all day long. But until you emerge into the possibility of it, until you truly grab hold of it and say, yes, I believe that. Until you do that, you're not going to see, possibly, or you'll not notice the evidences of spirit all around you because you're looking from a cut off place. You're looking from a separated space. You're looking from within the confines of the cage. You are not looking from where you exist, which is the cageless reality. And so it is my intention for you and everyone else who needed you to ask that question because the truth is millions of people feel cut off. Millions of people wonder why they're here. Millions of people do not feel loved. Millions of people feel worthless. Millions of people identify based on their bank accounts and their divorces and their failures. Millions of people are suffering. There are millions of other people out there just like you who need to feel the whisper of the possibility of their greatness and their beauty and that's what you are jack that's exactly what you are join me this year at the 2019 bliss retreat in beautiful loveland colorado the bliss retreat is a four night five day blissed out extravaganza where there will be sacred ceremonies spiritual workshops and nightly services with me crystal and compton go to theblissretreat.org to learn more i hope to see you there